I guess you never know. You just never know. Michael Jackson passed away a couple days ago. It's all right. He passed away a couple days ago, and he still didn't know until the time of his death how much he was loved. You know where I'm going with this, right? Most of us, and many of us, that live in this town, if not all our lives, a good portion of our lives. And many of us have yet to know that this town cares about us like it cares about other folks. Do I need to ask for an amen on that one? <laughs> so why am I here? I'm here because I still believe. I'm here because I believe that throughout all the things that have happened in 2008 and beyond, that as a people, a people who believe in Christ, a people who believe in change, that if we don't put it together, it's not going to happen. I stood in the back and I listened to the last group from Rochester, and I listened to the story about the son in the hospital. And what I thought about, well, what was helpful was that there was music, and I can't sing for nothing. But what I thought about was that everybody's got a testimony. Oh yeah, I went to church. <laughs> and having a testimony is no different than going down to a council meeting, a school board meeting, talking in prayer, and telling somebody what you're feeling and what help you need. The only disconnect between a testimony and politics is a testimony is based on hope and a politic, a political kind of request. You know who to ask, and if they don't deliver, you know who to put out of office. All right, you see what I just did, right? One is about hope and faith, and the other is about knowing who to see. Well, the election is not until May of 2010. But if folks have their way, they'll have you believing that you are the best place you need to be. Paul and out of love. If they have their way. If they have their way, they'll tell you that they care about you, even though they make it hard for you to live. If they have their way, some of us who look just like us are going to come and tell you it's going to be all right. Well, believe it if you choose. I don't. I have learned as of 2008, November, and before then, that change only comes if I get involved and I stay involved. You're sitting in these pews right now because you want to get closer to the Spirit, and you want to know that your ordained benevolence is coming. That's why you're here, right? You want to be one step closer in case your time comes. Your entry into the heavens will be that much easier. So why then do we take our eyes off the prize? Now, I want you to know, I feel real good having some music in the background. <laughs> Although I can't sing for nothing. And I'm going to close. Because I know you didn't come here for me. But I need you to know this. The Lord helps those who help themselves. And he who waits shall just wait. Thank you. The Lord.
Yeah.